Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Belle again. So today, we're going to talk about the U.S., China, a phone call, and a sign of the times. On Tuesday, high-ranking commanders from the U.S. and China basically had a Zoom call. The U.S. commander over the Indo-Pacific Command and the Chinese general over their Southern Theater Command had a little chat. These two commanders would be tasked with destroying each other's command if things ever got hot between the U.S. and China. But the video conference has a very different tone and spirit. The U.S. said the call was to, quote, clarify intent and reduce the risk of misperception or miscalculation. The Chinese government said it was a conversation that shared, quote, in-depth views on issues of common concern. That's very sanitized foreign policy speak. What was it really? A conversation to reestablish high-level military-to-military communications that make sure the two militaries don't accidentally go to war. Back in 2022, Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan, and then there was the whole spy balloon thing that led to a breakdown of the lines of communication that nuclear powers like to keep open. This is the first step to reestablishing those ties. Over the long term, this will help reduce tensions between the two countries. Powerful militaries that have friction points need to have these lines open because powerful militaries often engage in exercises the other side's intel didn't see coming. It's useful to be able to pick up the phone and call the other side and ask, what's going on? This is especially true when both countries are flexing in particular ways that are sensitive to the opposing nation. The U.S. is continuing its support of Taiwan, and China is making moves near the Philippines. So far, the bumps in the road, or seas in this case, have stayed non-lethal, and both countries misreading the other at the same time could cause a spiral that leads to war. And while both countries actually want to avoid this, they have to appear indifferent to the prospect of war to maintain their status at the table. In another unique development in U.S.-Chinese relations, both countries' militaries will be participating in Operation Formosa. That's a military exercise hosted by Brazil. Now, it should be made very clear that the U.S. and China will not have their militaries training together. They will simply be present at the same training event together. We can hope to see some thawing of relations between the U.S. and China in the relatively near future if everything goes very well. But there are a lot of friction points that could lead to setbacks. Not just the situation in the South China Sea, but the relationship between China and Russia, as well as the normal trade issues between the U.S. and China, and both countries trying to obtain the upper hand in Africa. Any of these situations could present stalls in re-establishing ties. But there is real forward movement to watch now. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.